so hello everyone welcome to this uh, new session so in the last session we have started with module 5 right so in this session we are going to continue with module 5 only okay so this is the next concept of uh, module 5 that is maxwell's equation okay so note this that this concept is very very important okay maxwell's equation we need to be listing all the maxwell's equation till now which we have derived in all module 4 as well as module 5 from Faraday's law, Ampere's law, Stokes' theorem, Biot-Sivert's law, from all these law, we have got the set of Maxwell's equation that all of those Maxwell's equation now we are going to list it, okay? So this is the, I've already listed it and kept it to you all, okay? So you can pause the video and take the screenshot of this and you can copy it down, okay? This carries, uh, I guess this carries around 6 to 8 marks if it comes to exam, okay? This uh, equations along with its quantities, okay, whatever the quantities or the terms are there that also you need to be mentioning okay yeah so maxwell's equation then i'm just going to read it out which are which and all the maxwell's equation which we have got from which laws okay so from first that is from ampere's law we have got maxwell's equation both in integral form as well as point form or differential form okay from ampere's law one relationship which we have got that is line integral of h dot d dl is equal to surface integral of jc plus jd dot d s okay where this jc plus jd is equal to inconsistency in amperes inconsistency in amperes law that is del cross h right line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of del cross h dot ds okay where this del cross h is equal to jc plus jd so that's why i have written line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of jc plus jd dot ds so this is an integral form in point form we have two relations that is del cross h is equal to jc plus jd or this jc is equal to i have told you that jc is equal to sigma e plus uh, jd is equal to dou d by dou t where this dou d by dou t we can simplify and write it as epsilon times dou e by dou t so this is the point form equation that is sigma e plus epsilon dou e by dou t okay so these these are the two equations in ampere's law from faraday's law we have got the equations of integral and point form that is line integral of e dot dl is equal to minus surface integral of dou by dou t of b dot ds this we have obtained from faraday's law same equation in point form also we have represented right that is del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t so this was from faraday's law same we have got from gauss law of electrostatics as well as magnetostatics so that is from gauss law one relation we have got that is surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of rho v dv or we can say that del dot d is equal to rho v so in place of rho v we can replace it as del dot d and we can write it as surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv okay so this is called as divergence theorem okay hope you might be knowing this relation this is the relationship of divergence theorem here same equation in point form is for divergence that is del dot d is equal to rho v okay similarly in magnetostatics what we need to be doing is we need to be uh, nullifying this term okay in magneto ma magnetostatics that is in uh, in place of uh, electric flux density replace it by magnetic flux density and surface integral of b dot ds is equal to zero same goes in point form so uh, replace ma electric flux density by magnetic flux density and write del dot b is equal to zero okay so these are the uh, four list of equations from four different laws that is Ampere's law, Faraday's law and Gauss law of electrostatics, Gauss law of magnetostatics and these are the equations in integral form as well as point form. Okay, so now you can mention the quantities that is or the terms where D is the electric flux density and its unit is represented by uh, coulombs per meter square and E is the electric field intensity, it is replaced by voltage per meter or newton per coulomb or H is the magnetic field intensity, it is represented by, represented by amperes per meter. B is the magnetic flux density, it is represented by Weber's per meter square. JC is the conduction current density, amperes per meter square and JD is the displacement current density and its unit is amperes per meter square. Okay, so I have similarly written, I have written a word statement which is not necessary but still if they ask for 8 or 10 marks in this question in order to lengthen the answer or to stretch the answer what we can do is whatever equations we have we have got we can write it in form of word statement that is first e integral form whatever equation is there i have just written it in the word statement that is magnetomotive force around a closed path is equal to the sum of the surface integral of conduction and displacement current that is surface integral of jc plus jd dot 
ds right that ds represent over a closed surface bounded by a closed path okay similarly i have written for all the four equations two here three as well as four so i'm not going to read it out again you can pause the video and if you want you can note it down so this was all about maxwell's equation so now let's discuss maxwell's equation for uh, different uh, time changing fields okay in both point form as well as integral form whichever the four equations which you have seen right using those four equations we will be deriving some more equations for time changing fields now okay yeah so that is maxwell's equation of time changing fields first in point form in point form the first equation which you have got is for del cross h is equal to gc plus gd right in point form that is again equal to sigma e plus epsilon do e by do t right so this was the first maxwell's equation which you have obtained from uh, ampere's law i guess from ampere's law we have obtained this okay so now what we can do this let e is equal to replace this e by e not e to the power j omega t okay then name this as equation 1 okay uh, name this as equation sorry, name this as 2 and name this as equation 1 okay so now what we can do this put equation 2 in equation 1 that is in place of e in this equation substitute this e by e not e to the power j omega t so let's see what we will be getting that is del cross h is equal to sigma times e not e to the power j omega t right plus epsilon dou by dou t of e not e to the power j omega t that is del cross h is equal to sigma times again we can uh, keep this as it is that is e not e to the power j omega t plus or now what we can do is we can we need to differentiate this with respect to t so now first thing we is that e to the power j omega t differentiation is uh, e to the power j omega t itself and again with respect to t so coefficient of t that i mentioned it as j omega so we will write that first that is epsilon j omega into e naught e to the power j omega t okay so now what we can write is del cross h is equal to again we got e naught e to the power j omega t again we can replace this by the first which I assumption which i have taken that is e that is sigma times e plus j j omega epsilon e okay so this is replaced by e again so this is the uh, modified equation for time changing fields okay for the first equation of max first maxwell's equation from ampere's law okay so similarly we have let's see the second maxwell's equation in in point form that is so this is the second equation which we have got from uh, faraday's law that is del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t name this again as equation 1 so now we can write it as del cross e is equal to minus mu dou h by dou t because we know that since b is equal to mu times h so that's why we can replace this b by mu times h and we can take this mu constant outside okay so now here in this case also let h is equal to h naught e to the power j omega t for time changing field i am replacing this h by h naught e to the power j omega t okay so now the equation would be del cross e is equal to minus mu dou by dou t of h naught e to the power j omega t again del cross e is equal to minus mu into dou by dou t of this term so what we will be doing e to the power j omega t differentiation is this only and j, uh, t we have so coefficient of uh, t is j omega so that is j omega into h naught e to the power j omega t again this in place of this again substitute back this term only that is h so therefore del cross e is equal to minus mu j omega h okay or del cross e we can write it as minus j omega mu times h okay so this is the modified equation for a second faraday's law so for second maxwell's equation that is from faraday's law so now 
the remaining two equations from gauss law of electrostatics and magnetostatics remains the same that is it won't uh, have any changes if we uh, substitute in place of time changing field the equation remains the same that is del dot d is equal to rho v as well as del dot b is equal to zero okay so this is only in case of gauss law the equation won't be changing whenever we have any change in time or time changing field these two equations would remain the same and these are the two changes in point form or uh, changes in maxwell's equation for ampere's law and faraday's law in point form for time changing field similarly let's check for integral form as well what are the changes we would be getting so in integral form first write the first equation from ampere's law that is line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of sigma e plus epsilon dou e by dou t dot ds okay so now again replace this uh, epsilon dou uh, epsilon dou e by dou t by just now which we have derived from uh, uh, what to say point form for time changing field we have derived that j omega epsilon times e okay in place of this write this term and again in this case sigma e and j omega times e e e is common so take that outside and we can modify the expression and write it as line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of sigma plus j omega epsilon into e dot ds okay so this is the modified expression in integral form for ampere's law the second equation is for faraday's law that is line integral of e dot ds is equal to minus surface integral of dou by dou t of b dot ds again in place of uh, b dot ds we can write it as b is equal to mu times h and uh, we can even write this uh, h as minus j omega mu times h right where this minus j omega mu is constant so i have taken it outside and i have written it as surface integral of h dot ds okay so that's why this is the modified expression of uh, faraday's law in integral form for time changing field and again for uh, gauss law these two equation won't be having any change it will be remaining as it is that is line integral of d dot ds is equal to so surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of rho v dv and surface integral of b dot ds that is magnetic flux density with respect to the surface differential surface is equal to zero okay so this was the set of equations in integral form and also in point form we have discussed so now let's see one simple problem okay related to conduction and displacement current densities that is a direct problem find the conduction and displacement current densities in a material having conductivity of 10 to the power minus 3 simon per meter this is say simon okay conductivity and epsilon r is given as 2.5 if e of material is given as this much that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 sin 9 into 10 to the power uh, 9t volts per meter we need to be finding jc and jd okay so if we have direct formula that is jc is equal to sigma times e jc is equal to sigma is given as 10 to the power minus 3 substitute that okay and uh, e is given as 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 into sin 9 into 10 to the power 9t substitute that and again multiply this and this is the answer which we get for uh, jc that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 sin 9.0 into 10 to the power 9t amperes per meter square similarly jd that is a uh, displacement current density is given as a uh, epsilon do, do e by do t where this epsilon is equal to epsilon into epsilon epsilon not into epsilon r okay so where uh, epsilon not is the absolute permittivity epsilon r is the relative permittivity in place of epsilon replace it by this term and again do the calculation the standard value of epsilon not is 8.854 into 10 to power minus 12 epsilon r is given in the question as 2.5 then do by do t of uh, whatever the electric field they have mentioned substitute that solve this and this is the final answer which we get for conduction uh, displacement current density that is 1.1 into 10 to power minus 19 cos 9 into 10 to power 9t okay so why i have uh, got this cos because we are de partially derivating with respect to uh, t right so in place of t the coefficient is this term so this whole term so in order to respect uh, differentiate this whole term differentiation of sin is cos so that's why so this was one simple problem okay so that's all for this session hope you understood uh, some of the concepts okay so this problem is also next problem is also not so important but still uh, this is one simple problem related to parallel plate capacitor that is we need to verify that conduction current in the wire is same as the displacement current okay whatever the conduction current is there in this uh, circuit is same as the displacement current for that we have this 
problem here if you want you can this is a simple problem you can note it down if you want you can pause the video and refer it okay so this is that problem if you want yeah so that's all for this session hope you understood some concepts okay related to maxwell's equation so please uh, go through the video thoroughly and list uh, list down all the maxwell's equation because this question is very important multiple times repeated to list out all the maxwell's equation we have the maxwell's equation which we have got from ampere's law faraday's law uh, gauss law for electrostatics electromagnetics both so that's why uh, please note it down so that's all for this session please like share subscribe and comment down your opinions also refer our playlist it might be appearing on the right of your screen now we have done all the videos and kept it if you want you can refer it so that's all thank you